I'm gonna call this fragrance the transition from an 18 year old to a 21 year old because this is a flanker of a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance that was nice but not a huge banger or even a huge hit. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to my impressions of my fragrance of the day, Dolce & Gabbana K-E-D-P. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 2 to the a I requested this fragrance from Max Aroma because I was curious to see if the EDT and the EDP are exactly the same. Are they comparable? Or does the EDP show a little bit more maturity and a little bit more depth and performance factor behind it? So bang, I got the fragrance on Decky. And again, EDP, Dolce Gabbana K. I definitely like the darker presentation of the bottle, the cheesy crown, it is what it is. Is it really the king with Dolce Gabbana K? No. This is more of a transitional piece from an 18 year old to a 21 year old young man. You can finally go to the bar and drink legally. You can throw dollars at the stripper who's serving you your fucking cosmopolitan Long Island iced tea or cranberry and vodka cause you 21 and if you wasn't drinking before you don't know what the fuck to order at the bar now. This is my fragrance of the day so I can tell you pretty much that it's been lasting for me so far about six and a half hours a day isn't done yet so so far it still has a nice decent little scent cloud around it but it's not a powerhouse or a beast at all this has a very strong pungent pimento note that's listed and you could definitely get that vibe in there it's got this fucking bodega kind of produce section pimento punch in it that's a little unusual but isn't off-putting it's just a little I don't know weird now what I did like about this fragrance is the ever so hint and the speckle of fig that's becoming present in this fragrance at the mid section of the fragrance which I'm a fig fan and for me I can pinpoint them in certain fragrances and it does create a vibe but this is definitely more of a youthful fragrance again 18 to 21 no more than a 25 year old but this is definitely the better version of the Dolce Gabbana K in my personal opinion yes they have a lot of similarities obviously it is a flanker this one's performance factor and it's a little bit bolder and a little bit, a little more rustic, if that makes any sense. Honestly, it's kind of a cash grab because if this were the first version of Dolce Gabbana K, then I think the reception would have been a little bit better. I don't think it would have been like, yo, this shit is an absolute, you gotta cop this shit. But I definitely would have preferred smelling this over the original K. It has a little bit more depth, slightly more mature, a little bit more rustic. As I said, that pimento is a little kicked up too much, but when it mid and dry down, it's not too punchy or nasty. It's very bright it's very youthful it's got the mass appealing quality that everybody looks for it's a citrus bomb it's a little bit dry the juniper in here is definitely present and does smell like a little bit of a gin and tonic flow because it has some sparkly essence but not od at the end of the day Dolce Gabbana K has a lot of hate on it and I don't disagree with all the hate but it's because a lot of us have become snooty and snobby and everybody's stuck in the frag com bubble so they think that this shit is basic and just run down and mundane and I understand that portion and I gotta really balance myself out because there's a lot of people just looking to find out for the first time anything about this fragrance and they're not part of this world and I gotta talk myself out of it sometimes to recognize that yo not everybody's a frag head some dude just literally is walking through the mall online shopping and is just curious to know if this shit is good or bad he's not trying to hear none of us in this fragrance space give our full-blown opinion he just wants to know yo is this shit gonna get me my asshole lick am I gonna tickle the butt with this like what's going pop is this shit good and the shit is good it's got the mass appealing possible panty dropper depending on her age and that just sounded wild weird it, you know what I mean the younger female over age for somebody who's got 50, 60 fragrances that have similar DNA, this shit might not be for you. And just keep it all the way 1000. I'm wearing it today, it's still performing decent on my skin and it's not a bad fragrance. Does it blow my doors off? Fuck no. But is it bad? No, it's not bad. So for me, it's a quarter ball spray. Dang, that's it. Just a, just a snippet, just a dribble on the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like when your pee leaks and you gotta go take a pill because it burns on your pee. Shout out to Max Aroma for sending the kid this joint. I'll put a link in the description with a little bit of a descuento if you're interested in getting this shit because Cuba tries to at least 
get you not to pay retail and I'm really trying but you know sometimes it's hard let me know what you think of this fragrance is it better than the original do you like it are you like ugh, I'm over it let me know I'll see y'all bitches next time you know what is the biggest in the game smooches <laughs> Fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tack. When it's time to call back, it's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.